and you're watching the news live on Rupavahini. Media Minister Lakshman Yapa Abevardala today challenged the opposition to prove that the Rajapaksha family had engaged in corrupt activities. He said that the opposition was making false allegations against the family members of President Mahinda Rajapaksha targeting the upcoming presidential poll. Addressing a media conference in Colombo, Minister Lakshmi Yapa Abhiwardana said that the opposition charges of corruption were baseless and they are cannons to sling mud at the president during the election campaign. He added that opposition is using certain media to sling mud at the Rajapaksha's making frivolous charges claiming that they have purchased hospitals, lands and many things in the country. The minister asked the opposition to produce documentary evidence to prove that such purchases have been made by the Rajapaksha family. He also added that the opposition should prove their allegations leveled against Gota by Rajapaksha for purchasing the Apollo Hospital. Not a single campaign had been made to the Parliament Select Committee on the so-called Migdeal. Accusations were also leveled against the Rajapaksha family for purchasing the land of the Australian Embassy Office in Colombo. But Dhammika Pereira had claimed the ownership of this land. He further added that the government is prepared to hold a debate on any television channel with regard to these allegations, but they should bring documentary evidence to prove their allegations. He further pointed out that the opposition candidate had stated that he cannot understand politics nor economics. No politician will make such statements. Meanwhile, the minister told the media that the next part of uh, the president's manifesto will be released between the 3rd to the 10th of January 2010. A scholarship presentation ceremony for children of Sri Lankans who are working overseas held at Temple Trees in Colombo today. Senior presidential advisor and member of the parliament, Basil Rajapaksa, was the chief guest. This scholarship award ceremony was organized by the Sri Lankan Foreign Employment Bureau. The scheme was launched in 1996. A sum of around 350 million rupees has been granted for over 18,000 children so far. A sum of 15,000 rupees each has been presented to students who had stalled in the year 5 scholarship examination. 20,000 rupees each for those who have passed in the GC ordinary level examination and 30,000 rupees each for students who excelled in the GC advanced level examination. 1,443 children received scholarships this year. Minister Richard Badruddin, the chairman of the Foreign Employment Bureau, Kingsley Ranamaka, were among those present on the occasion. And a farmer, Garmini Jaratna, who received injuries in an unruly incident which took place at a meeting in Pandurasnivera in the presence of UNP MP Dasri Jayasekhar, is now receiving treatment at the Hettipala General Hospital. He disclosed details of the incident from his hospital bed to Rupa Bahine. Garmini Dharatna said that he was assaulted by UNP supporters when he protested against a remark made by the UNP MP Dasiri Jayasekhar against persons who were crossing over to the United People's Freedom Alliance. He said that he was manhandled by a group of UNP supporters in the presence of UNP MP Dasiri Jayasekhar. The MP who was accused of assaulting this SLFP activist at an election rally surrendered to the Hetipala courts yesterday morning and subsequently was released on personal bail of 100,000 rupees. The victim, Garmini Dayaratna, received serious injuries during the assault. Well, there we on the local segment of our news coming up is News Overseas.